So somebody had asked whether or not the structure of your jaw can affect some of the symptoms that they'd be experiencing. So it's probably worth just kind of walking through, like, what does that mean? So a lot of people will talk about, you know, it's having kind of this sunken jaw or short jaw where you have this little bit of pullback that happens here. And it happens over time. Um, one of the, the things that people think may be a cause is due to kind of sleeping with the mouth open over a long period of time starts to sink that jaw back in order to open the airway for breathing through your mouth rather than through your nose. So that's one piece of it. Another piece is like, are the, the muscles around the jaw that allow you to clench and move your jaw around, are those formed adequately? But if we're thinking about just the structure of the mandible, so like, you know, coming from here down, hooking around, you've probably seen it in skeleton. The main kind of questions you would have is number one, does it limit airway flow. So is it blocking the way you're breathing? Is it causing a peripheral type of sleep apnea where it's affecting your breathing? That's number one. Number two would be, is it causing problems to where we're restricting flow through the arteries or veins? So are we blocking blood vessels? Are we compressing nerves that are traveling through that space? As long as those things are okay, the second part to remember is the muscles are going to form their angles based on the way that jaw is structured. If we start to move things around too much, it can create tension in the disc, which changes proprioception of the joint, which can actually cause its own type of pain. It can cause changes in your neck and can actually cause some pretty significant problems. That's why we do have to be careful with, as, as good as it is to make sure people have a nice solid bite, they're able to, to you know, chew and use their teeth and they they feel pretty about their teeth we also want to make sure that we don't alter things to the point where we're creating friction we're creating problems with the way the proprioception works in the joint with the way that we start to change muscle tensions that can create headaches or even start to change the way our hearing works we can get ringing in the ears we can get pain and we can get headaches and we can even get dizziness kind of the jaw is kind of like a topic of discussion these days people want to you know, put in a jaws or sizer and chomp down and get those nice big masseters, um, you know, level out their jaw. But also we want to make sure we're solving problems that are worth solving. So if you're somebody that's jaws developed and we don't have any of those problems, you're going to want to think about if I do change this or manipulate it, is it going to change any of the muscle or structural functions that could lead to another problem down the road? So kind of a deeper dive, but I hope it helps.